Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about heating and air conditioning. In the trade, we call it HVAC. One of the critical things that you want to make sure is that your house is cooled down easily and, it, and it's a comfortable heat. You don't have one house to that one area of the house hotter than another one or colder than another one. This is a high efficiency furnace. I strongly recommend that you go with a high efficiency furnace. Most of your builders will go with less than 90% efficient. There's a lot of 80% efficient furnaces out there. The only thing we ever go with is 92 to 95% efficient furnaces. You can tell an efficient furnace by the PVC. The PVC is sealed and it has to draw in and exchange air from the outside and then it brings it in and burns it in your furnace. You've got electrical furnaces, you've got uh, gas forced air furnaces, you got thermal uh, energy type uh, furnaces, you got geothermal, uh, there's a lot of different furnaces and depending on how long you're going to be in the house will depend on what you want to spend. This is a 95% efficient furnace. This is our minimum standard in building of a house. Some of the other things that we insist on is on your returns, we always tape your seams. We want to make sure that all the seams are taped. You go to your house right now, or anybody else's house that doesn't have it, put your hand up there and you'll notice the cold air or the warm air blowing out of there. This seals it up so it makes it efficient. The other thing is, is on your cold air returns, we'll point it out up here, this is a system where we, uh, uh, every cold air return is between two joists, and they usually just nail that uh, thermal pan up there, but they don't seal it. We seal every part of that, every seam, we want to make sure it's sealed. Now the other thing is, notice where this furnace is. This furnace is set right here and it's almost in the middle of this particular house. And the reason being is you want to make sure that your furnace isn't working too hard. If you're off to one side, it's got to push air all the way to the other end. By being in the middle here, it can push it out and push it out evenly. Now if you've got a two-story and you want another furnace on the second floor to make it more efficient, we can do that. Or we can use, this one doesn't have it, but we can use an electronic damper system where in one room you'll have a thermostat, another room you'll have another thermostat. That thermostat will open and close vents that are inside of your furnace runs, your duct runs, and be able to generate more uh, heat or cold to the particular area of the house that you want it. So make sure you call us. We'll talk to you more about the furnaces. We'll tell you the paybacks on like geothermal and some of the other units that you can buy but it's critical that you get the ceiling in there and make for darn sure you get a 95% efficient or greater furnace, okay? Call us if you got any questions, 680-2500. Talk to you later.